Thank you for joining me. I'm Juan. Today we're going over the LTV 1200 and how to set up BiPAP. You're going to want to watch this video. The first thing we have to understand with the LTV 1200 is with regards to BiPAP, it's an additive. So if you never heard this term, with regards to BiPAP, there's additive and there's absolute. An absolute BiPAP is usually what you'll find in the hospital, and it's usually a standalone BiPAP machine. So what that means is absolute, if, for example, an absolute BiPAP that's at a hospital, you set it at 15 for pressure support and PEEP of five, then they're gonna receive 15 over five. Exactly what it says, it's absolute. Additive, which is what our LTV 1200 is, if you set those same settings that's out the hospital, 15 over five, you're actually giving the patient 20 of pressure support over five. If you look at the machine here, it says pressure support plus PEEP. So if you want a pressure support of 15, you have to set this number at 10 because it's gonna add the five, which is gonna give it 15. So that's the difference between an additive and an absolute. So now let's turn it on and see how to set this up. Turn it on just like regular. It's gonna ask us new patient, same patient, and it's gonna ask us infant, adult, pediatric. We want adult. High pressure because I have tidal volume set at 500 and I have a very small test lung. So let me lower that. Just we have here for volume or pressure. We're not pressing that one. Assist control, SIMV CPAP, and NPPV is non-invasive positive pressure ventilation is what we want. And we're gonna have to press the button four times. So we hit it once, it's blinking on SIMV. Hit it again, that's two. Hit it again, it's now blinking on NPPV. Hit it again, and now we're on BiPAP. So the first thing it's gonna ask you is to set the IPAP. So IPAP is basically pressure support and EPAP is PEEP or CPAP. They're, they both mean the same thing. So we'll set the PEEP to three. Okay, so now the patient is receiving 13 of pressure support over a PEEP of three. Remember that pressure support is IPAP and PEEP is EPAP. Got an apnea alarm because it didn't sense it breathing. Okay, so this balloon, this test lung, is kept open because of the peep. The pressure support comes into place when we take a breath, watch. If you hear the, the machine, right now it's no noise, no effort from the machine, no pressure support because we didn't breathe. So when the patient breathes, it helps out with the breath. It's barely inflated because I have the peep at one. So let me increase the peep to, to eight. You see there, now there's the alveolar recruitment. Here's the alveolar recruitment. You see it's inflated, but if I squeeze, there's not much pressure support right now. So let me increase the pressure support to get more of a push when I take that breath. So I'm gonna set it at 10. So now I'm getting more, more pressure, more support. As soon as I lower the peep, you see the bag, it's, it's like flimsier. Okay, we're gonna take a look at a rabbit lung that is gonna demonstrate zero peep and then increase it to 15 peep. We have a recording again, this is a different angle. Right. Gone shot, see? And we're going to go to 15 of peep now. Okay, so now the 15 is set, you're gonna start seeing alveolar recruitment. Yeah. 
as you can see some of the some of the uh, portions are collapsed still even at the peak inspiration yeah. okay just to recap if you're having some BiPAP issues one always make sure that the patient has a proper seal that is going to be the most important thing any kind of air leaks you're going to get alarms make sure you have enough oxygen because the BiPAP will burn through your oxygen you should monitor end tidal because you you want to differentiate between having an oxygenation and ventilation issue if you're having a ventilation issue you're going to see a difference in the pulse ox and you may want to increase the PEEP or FiO2. You can do that. And just anytime you increase the PEEP, always keep in mind that it increases intrathoracic pressure. So you're going to have to evaluate the blood pressure. For ventilation, you can increase the pressure support if they're having ven ventilation issues. And you can do that by increasing the IPAP or pressure support and the PEEP or CPAP one for one which will give you two extra on the pressure support. Again, if you're increasing the PEEP, check the blood pressure. Keep checking the blood pressure. Make sure you review, make sure you watch the videos that are online for, for the LTV 1200. Most important thing, understand that this is an additive, not an absolute. So whatever the hospital says, if the hospital's 10 over five, then pressure support is gonna be five for us and PEEP is going to be five and that when you add the two that gives you 10 so that'll give you the 10 over five that's the most important thing that you have to know with the ltv 1200 okay thank you for watching see you in the next video